In few years to come, we all shall experience the complete fall of the USA. Yes, I mean what I'm saying. And this is not a debatable topic. This is a statement of fact. Right in front of your eyes, you shall live, and I pray you live long to see the downfall of the Americans, the downfall of the dollar, because of the arrogance, because of the, 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 the wickedness of United States of America, the, the harshness of their foreign policy. For too long, they've enjoyed the privilege of being regarded as the superpower, their currency, the dollar, being used as it's one of the most used currencies in the world, the most reverenced currency, but because of the harsh and organ policies of the USA, and because of their always trying to control and impose on others, believe me, the rest of the world cannot live and dance to the tune of the US. It cannot always be like that. And this is what they fail to understand. This is what their political elites have failed to recognize. Right now, what we are seeing with the rise of China and Russia and the BRICS, we are seeing the change, the dynamic change. Power has changed hands. America has military bases all over the world. And right now, Russia and China are also saying, we are going to start making our military bases to your borders. Look at the blunder America and NATO just did. They provoked the war in Ukraine. They had an agreement not to expand eastward, but have expanded and they are aiming to expand towards Russia. And yet blaming Russia of becoming near or being close to, 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 to NATO. Whereas they are expanding. You can't be moving close to me and at the same time you are complaining that I'm close to you. You are just provoking an unnecessary conflict or situation. And this is exactly what Americans have been doing. That's why they've been pumping billions into Ukraine to support the war. They don't want peace. Russia has made attempts to go to a peaceful settlement with Ukraine. This is what most of you don't know. And this is why Putin came out and published these documents. Documents that carried information about how um, Russia had sorted out peaceful measures with Ukraine, but America will say no. So America think they can go to Taiwan, close to, to China, and create problems with the Chinese. They can go to Ukraine, close to Russia, and create problems with the Ukrainians, sorry, with the Russians. But they don't want anyone to build any alliance. Can you imagine the arrogance of the Americans? They want to dictate on sovereign nations who they should cooperate with and who they should not cooperate with. America literally is dictating on Canada, dictating on Mexico, Cuba, and African countries, and, and to the rest of the world, who they can partner with and who they cannot partner with. And yet they talk about democracy. They invade Libya, invade other countries in, in, under the auspices of promoting democracy, under the auspices of protecting the sovereignty of a nation, whereas they will not permit those nations to take decisions on their own. Now, the Chinese... And the Russians are saying, we are also going to make our military alliances with other countries that are close to you, and we are going to bring our weapons to your border. Not only are we going to destroy your currency, but we are also going to put our weapons and our nukes at your borders. Exactly what the Americans are doing to the other nations. So, so what goes around is coming around. So what goes around is coming around. So what goes around is coming around.